Thank you for watching On Call for All Kids, a weekly segment we have here at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, where we're speaking with our experts about different topics in pediatric health care. And today with us, we have Dr. Rachel Dawkins. She's the medical director of our pediatric and adolescent medicine clinic. And Dr. Dawkins, it's summertime. It's about to be summertime upon yeah. us. Kids are about to be out of school. But with that, we're outdoors more, and so are the bugs. We're talking about stings and bites today. Yeah, so it definitely feels like summertime. Yeah. Um, and kids are always getting bitten by insects, and parents are always worried about what should we worry about about those insects. So, What are some of the most common bites that you see? So we think about... Um, insects that bite that cause itchy rashes, and we also think about insects that bite that cause stinging rashes. So um, thinking about mosquitoes and bed bugs, those cause the itchy rashes, and things like um, caterpillars, horse flies, those cause the painful, painful rashes. And what do those symptoms look like, or what, when we see them on the skin, when should we, you know, maybe be concerned, or, or maybe know, okay, this might be a little bit minute, so it might be okay. Yeah, so insect bites always cause some sort of red raised rash. They kind of look like a hive, and um, especially with the ones that are more itchy, it causes a histamine release, which causes a little red welt on the skin and so parents always get concerned like you know this is an allergic reaction but really that's the typical reaction to an insect bite what about those more severe reactions because i know sometimes kids can have allergies to these bites yeah so things. if your child is highly allergic to something like um, fire ants bees wasps things those can cause something called anaphylaxis so that's an allergic reaction where your child's throat may swell up they may have trouble breathing and they may have severe abdominal pain that's more of an emergency so if your child has that kind of reaction you should definitely go to the emergency room or if you've been previously prescribed something like an EpiPen, this is the time to use it. Well, what about for the less severe? What can we do to treat those at home, hopefully yeah. before going to a doctor? So most commonly, you're gonna have those less severe reactions. I mean, mosquitoes are rampant right now. Um, if your child is really itchy, you can apply some hydrocortisone cream to the skin that you can buy over the counter, or you can also use Benadryl or, or diphenhydramine by mouth. And so that can help with the itching, especially if they're really itchy at night um, or can't go to school because they're super itchy, use the Benadryl by mouth. Okay, great. What about prevention though? Are there any bug sprays or something like that that we can use for our kids? So the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that you can use bug spray in any kid older than two months old. So even babies, you can use that. I would recommend not using one that's high in deep concentration. So through your deep woods off, perhaps is not good for kids but any other of the bug sprays is great to prevent these bites and that's the only way you're going to prevent your child from having them all right dr dawkins thank you so much and thank you all for watching today if there's a topic you would like us to look into or possibly talk about here in our weekly segment then just comment below on this video and we also have a lot of different information on our website different articles and pediatric health care news you can check that out on hopkinsallchildrens.org newsroom thanks for watching we'll see you next week week.